Again, this is Waldwick, New Jersey. Oh, uh, yes, I'm looking to speak with Sergeant Rob. Um, is there any uh, officer in that's uh, maybe supervisor of his or something? Possibly. I was just wondering. Um, it's become to my knowledge, and by the way, I am a video and audio recording this conversation, but um, it seems that Sergeant Rob was the lucky winner of a $500 pendant yesterday. Are you aware of that? I do not know. Yeah. Oh. What shift does Sergeant Rob work? Um, is that his usual shift? Uh, for this week. Oh, does he rotate? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, but is there any, there isn't a supervisor or somebody I could speak with now that's in the building? Can I ask a call? Uh, my name is Adamo. Okay. Sergeant Seaver, can I help you? Uh, hello. Uh, who am I speaking with? Sergeant Seaver. Sergeant Seaver, is that S-E-A-V-E-R? Okay. Hello, my name is Damo. I'm a reporter, and uh, I was calling to see if I could get a comment. Um, it seems Sergeant Rob um, was the lucky winner of a $500 pendant from Devon's Fine Jewelry yesterday. Are you aware of this? I am not aware of that, sir. Uh, it seems that he may have been uh, on duty and decided to drive to Wickoff, New Jersey. Uh, do you know how far that is from Waldwick, New Jersey? So is that approximately 10 minutes or? Uh, it's a border town. Okay. Um, it, do you, Where are you a reporter for, sir? Uh, I'm with an organization called copblock.org. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if the officer did leave town, his jurisdiction, to uh, partake in a, a treasure hunt, would that be against uh, the policy of the police department there? Uh, you know what, sir? I really don't have a comment on it. Um, if you have a name and number, I can forward you to our lieutenant. He can give you a call back and reference. Sure, if you want to give me his name and number, that'd be great. Sure, so Lieutenant Ed Weber. Ed Weber? Yep. We'll be back in Monday morning. I can leave a message for him, or I can have uh, you transfer right to his voicemail. What's better for you, sir? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd really like to get a comment. Do you think, uh, it, I mean, there is a picture on Facebook. Devon Fine Jewelry announced him as the winner. He actually did it in a record time of two minutes, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a comment for you, sir. Um, I, I'm not familiar. Well, how about, how about you? Would you partake in a treasure hunt while on duty? Nah, I'm still not going to comment on it, sir. Sorry. You don't, you, don't, you don't know if you would do that or not? Well, I'm just not going to comment on it. Oh, okay. Do you know if Sergeant uh, Bob will be in tomorrow? Or, excuse me, Rob? Um, I don't expect him back, sir. If you hold on one second, I can just get a quick look at the schedule. Oh, cool. Uh, well, the last guy told me he'd be in from uh, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Um, Was he mistaken? Yeah, pretty convenient. Yeah, sir, that's correct. I'm sorry, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, okay, great. Okay. All right, well, thank you for your time. You're welcome, sir. I am now on the phone with Devon Fine Jewelry. Hi, Sarah. My name is Adamo, and I'm a reporter, but I was calling and I had a few questions about the treasure hunt. Oh, sure. Awesome. Do you, mind if, do you mind if I record this for my records? Um, no problem, but you know what? Let me just make sure with the owner. Maybe she would prefer to take this phone call. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from New Hampshire. Oh, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to call back to New Hampshire. Do you have any idea where you're calling from? I'm calling from New Hampshire. Oh, okay. Hi, Nancy. My name is Adamo. I was calling because I had a few questions about your treasure hunt. I'm sure. interested in uh, clue number nine that was given away yesterday. Yes. Um, what time was that given out at? That was given out at 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? Yes. Oh, okay. Because actually, yeah, I'm a reporter with a police accountability website. It seems Sergeant Rob was on duty at the time uh, in, in Wald Waldwick, New Jersey. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I wasn't there. Oh. Do you think that he should have any... Uh, you know, do you think it was proper of him to travel eight miles from his jurisdiction to uh, partake in a treasure hunt? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't really 
realize he was in, uh, I saw he was in uniform, that, uh, but I didn't realize he was on duty. I, I don't know what you feel. I mean, uh, this officer should have been at work. I mean, if, I think if you had an employee that left to partake in some other sort of event, you know, while on duty or at work, you'd probably fire him. Well, I do know that the shift changes right around that time, so I'm, I'm not really sure he could have been just getting off duty. I really yeah. don't. No. I called him already. He works from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. So there you have it. It seems Sergeant Rob uh, took a time out of his shift to travel eight miles away to partake in a treasure hunt. Immediately upon calling the police department, they lied to try to help cover his actions, uh, stating they didn't know anything about it, that he wouldn't be in work t tomorrow, and that they didn't want to make any comments on whether or not those actions are within the police department's policy. Also, Nancy from Devon's Fine Jewelry seemed to be more helpful than she actually is. Uh, before I could even finish editing the video, Nancy or whoever at Devon Fine Jewelry pulled the post, uh, picture, and uh, contest video down, but not before I could get pictures. So feel free to call the Waldwick, New Jersey Police Department or Devon's Fine Jewelry, who seems to be an apologetic and a uh, supporter of covering police corruption. Thanks. Pure from intentional speech, proclaim sure. At conventions, Mr. Mention with no vengeance, I'm free. The same door, I've been knocking on for desperate need. The same floor, I've been crashing on for nesting my sleep. The same phone, they be tapping on explodes in a beat. The same floor, I've been dropping for the messes that teach.